What's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a lightsaber. The design is based on a certain Jedi Master's lightsaber, however if you guys do like this video I could always be convinced to maybe try and make a couple more of these, maybe even try and make a statue version of this one. If you guys would want me to of course, we'll have to see how this video does. If you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You will need some black wool, dark grey, light grey, white, yellow, and then you'll just need all of the blues. Dark blue, cyan, and light blue wool. Once you have all of those colours right there, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'll be making it right here, you'll want to kick this off with a row of nine black wool in a row on the floor. That's nine. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once you have your row of nine black wool, this is what you want to do next. On each far end of your nine black wool, you want to do this. You want to go up on top of the end blocks with this little sequence of blocks. Do one black wool, then four dark grey, one, two, three, four, then one black wool, and that's it. And go and do the exact same thing on the other side as well, so on the far right hand side here. One black wool, four dark grey, one, two, three, four, then one black wool. Like this. Once you've done that, this is what you want to do next. On top of the three middle blocks of your row of nine black wool, you want to place three light grey blocks, like that. Just eyeball it. You guys will be fine. On top of your three light grey, you then want to place three black wool. On top of each end of your black wool, you want to go up by three each side. So one, two, three, then one, two, three. Then connect those two top blocks together, like so. Then you can just fill in this little mini section here with dark grey wool, like that. What you then want to do is take out your black wool, and to the left and right of the four dark grey that you have on the left and right hand side of your lightsaber, you just want to place four black wool, so you just want to kind of outline your dark grey, like this. So you want to end up with something that should look a little bit like that. Pause this if necessary, of course. Moving on. So, come up to the left-hand side here, where we have this single black block by its lonesome. Do an upright diagonal with your black wall from this block. And then go to the right of it until you connect diagonally to the other single black block on the right-hand side. What you then want to do is this. Go up on top of each one of the ends of... You guys might not know this, but this is actually a row of seven black wool. Go up on top of each end of your row of seven black wool by six with your black wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on top of the right hand side as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then just connect those six blocks together like that. Top block to top block. So you now have a nice little square. What you then want to do is this. So, coming back down to our row of seven here, on top of this middle block of your row of seven, again, just eyeball it, place a dark grey wall. Then on top of that dark grey, place a black. On top of that black, place a light grey. And then all around that light grey, place black wall to give you a nice little plus shape, like this. That's all you want to do there. Once you've done that, as always, pause this if necessary, of course, we can move on. So, coming to the top of our square, what we now want to do on top of the left and right hand sides of our square, so the left hand side, right hand side there, just as we did before, you want to go up on top of each side by 12 with your black wall. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And the other side as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What you then want to do is just connect those 12 blocks together, top block to top block, once again. So you now have a large rectangular shape. So this is what you want to do next. Coming up to the left hand side of the top of our rectangle, you want to come to the first block coming down from this top corner block, so this block right here, and you want to go left of it with your black wool by three, so one, two, three. You then want to go down from that third block by ten, so one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Almost made a mistake there. Connect that 10th block back to the big chunky part of our lightsaber. So you just want to have this shape right here. It kind of looks like a mug. Once you've done that, this is what you want to do next. This part's a little bit tedious. So, coming up to the top of our rectangular shape, this is what you want to do. On top of the five middle blocks of our rectangle, you want to place five black wool. Like that. What you then want to do, on top of your five black wool, going from left to right, you want to do this little sequence of blocks. Do one dark grey, one light grey, and then three dark grey. Like so. What we basically now want to do is we want to repeat the pattern that we've just started, where we have a row of black wool followed by this little pattern here. I'll show you what I mean. So on top of your dark grey, light grey hybrid row, you want to do an entire row of black wool. On top of that, you want to do dark grey, light grey, dark grey. And basically what you want to do is you want to keep repeating this pattern until you have six little sections of dark grey and light grey wool. So I'm just going to do this very quickly until we have six repetitions of this. So that's three, that's four, that's five, and that is six. So you want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this. And as I said, you're just looking for six repetitions. So just count it out. Once you have your dark gray and light gray rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, place a black row directly on top of that sixth. And that is how many you want. What you then want to do is this. You want to place a single black wool on the ends of the dark grey slash light grey rows. So just place a single black wool. It's probably easier to do all of one row, all of one side like this. So just place a single black wool on the ends of each one of those dark grey and light grey rows like that. Once you've taken care of that, this is what you want to do next. And as always, pause this if necessary, of course. Come up to the top of your lightsaber and on top of the middle block right here, this middle block of our row of five, do uh, three yellow wool going directly up. So one, two, three. Then do three black wool either side of your three yellow. What you then want to do is place three black wool on top of your black and yellow. Then extend that row of three out either side by one, like so. Now you have a row of five again. On top of your row of five, place five yellow wool. Extend the yellow out either side by one with your black wool. Now do this. On top of the ends of your row of five yellow, go up on top of the ends of your yellow by three with your black. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. Connect those third blocks together with a row of black, and whilst we're here, we may as well just fill this little middle bit in with yellow, right there. Once you've done that, you then want to come up to the top of your lightsaber again, where we have this row of five black, and you want to do this. On top of this middle block, do one yellow going up, then one black going up, then one yellow going up. On the left and right hand side of your black and yellow row, you just want to do two rows of black wool either side to give you a nice little H shape like this. What you then want to do, starting from the left hand side here, on top of this left black block, do two up left diagonals. So one and two. Go up on top of that second up left diagonal by two. One, two. Then go to the right of that second block by six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then go down from that sixth block by two. One, two. Then connect everything back together with a bottom left diagonal. I notice it's actually getting a little bit dark. I hadn't realized that it had been that long. Pause this if necessary, of course. I'll be back in a moment to continue on once we have the daylight again. Alright guys, so continuing on, there's not too much left, don't worry. So, once you have this shape right here, as always, 
pause this if necessary, you can continue cracking on. So, coming up to the top left hand side of the shape that we've just made, you want to do an up left diagonal. And then place one on top. And then go to the left by one to give you this little shape right here. And once you've done that, you want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side here. So coming up to the top right hand corner, do an upright diagonal, place one on top, and then one going right. What you then want to do is just connect these top blocks together, the left and right hand side. Just do a strip of black wool interconnecting them to give you a table shape like this. Once you've done that, this is all we have to do to finish off the actual handle part of our lightsaber. So, starting from the left hand side, you want to come to the third block in, which is this one. Go up on top of this third block by two, one, two. Go to the right of that second block by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then connect that sixth block back to the top of the table, or the top of that long row. Which should give you something, which should look a little bit like this. As always, pause this if necessary of course, once you've taken care of that, first of all, before we actually start on the light part of our lightsaber, we're going to colour the entire handle part in, I'm not exactly sure what you'd call it. The grip part in. So, we may as well start from the top since we are up here, and I'm just going to show you how to fill this in and then, well, show you the end result. I'm not going to try and explain it. So, this top section here, you just fill it in entirely with dark grey, and don't worry, it's not too difficult. This little section underneath it, you do two light grey, one white, and then the rest is dark light grey, they're not dark grey. Then coming down to here, a top row of dark grey, then two white wool coming down light grey there, there and there, so just to show you this little top section, I imagine that you guys filled in the little yellow bit whilst I did, that is what you want to have for the top section, that's what the colour scheme looks like, it's very very simple indeed. Pause this if necessary of course, once you've done that we can move our way down the lightsaber and there's not too much to fill in, there rarely isn't. So starting with this large section here, starting from the left you just want to do a vertical strip of dark grey, followed by a strip of light grey, then a strip of dark grey, and then two strips of light grey, like this. Very easy. And then on the left hand side here, starting from the left, you just do a strip of light grey, then a strip of dark grey, like that. So just to show you the big chunky part of our saber, very easy. And then coming down here, you just want to fill this little section in completely with dark grey wool. Doesn't take too much time whatsoever. And now the very bottom of our lightsaber, just fill it in completely with light grey wool, as I'm doing now. Very easy. To give you something which should end up looking a little bit like this. Let me just show you what the whole thing wants to look like before we actually start messing about with the blade or whatever you want to call it. So, that is what the entire handle wants to look like once it's all been coloured in. We did the majority of it whilst we were actually building the outline. So, as always, pause this if necessary if you're still working on any of that, of course. Alright guys, so once you've taken care of the handle part of your lightsaber, it's now time for us to take care of the light part of our lightsaber. So come up to the very top of your saber, Take out your dark blue wool, and starting from this block right here, the second black block coming in from the left hand side, on top of this block, you want to do a row of about 85, 90 dark blue blocks. I'm going to start off with 85, coming directly up from this black wool. I know that sounds like a lot, but trust me, you, you kind of need it. So, 85. I'm not going to count all of this out, by the way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be eight. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That should be about 85. I would have counted it all out for you guys, but quite honestly, I like having a voice box. So that should be about 85 dark blue wool. You can add more, you can add less. It's completely up to you. It really depends what you're happy with. I kind of eyeballed it the first time that I made it. I didn't even count out the blocks. I kind of just made it as big as I thought it should be. If you're happy with 85, again, add more, subtract, completely up to you. If you're happy with 85, I'm pretty happy. Come up to the very top of it again, and from this 85th block, do an upright diagonal. Go on top of that diagonal by four. So one, two, three, four. Then do another upright diagonal. And then go up on top of it by two. One, two. That is the pointy part of our lightsaber. And if you want, starting from the first block in our row of three, you can just do a bottom right diagonal and go down from it from by four. So one, two, three, four. So you just want to have this shape right here. What you then want to do is come back down to the top of the handle right here. And starting from the equivalent black block on the right hand side, of the top of our saber, you just want to go up on top of this block, the second one, and come in from the right with your dark blue until you reach the very top of the blade or whatever you want to call it. I'm not exactly sure what you call it, I guess. It is a blade, technically a light blade. So you just want to end up with a shape that should look exactly like this. I'm not going to zoom all the way. I'm going to zoom all the way out. Let me just show you. Let's see how it all pieces together before we fill it in. We may want to add, we may not. Now, you see, I think that that's pretty much a good length for the actual light part. I mean, I guess you could go ever so slightly bigger, but um, no, no, I'm kind of happy with that. So about 85 on the long sides and you should be good if you like that as well. So once you've got the length of the blade sorted out, this is what you want to do. Coming back down to the top of the handle part. Coming inside of the dark blue wall that you have on the outsides of your lightsaber, you just want to do very long rows of cyan. So like this, just do long rows of cyan on the inside rows of your dark blue. So just as I'm doing now, just do two very long rows of cyan like that just to show you guys a bit of an upward view. What you then want to do is take this middle row and with your light blue you just want to run a well a row of light blue all the way up to the top, all the way up to the point of your lightsaber. So just as I'm doing now, all the way up to the top like that. And what you should be left with is something that should look a little bit like this. Just to show you the blade part first. You should be left with something that should look like that. Of course, you can edit the colours there if you want. You can make it all dark blue, or you could just have cyan in there, or you could just have light blue. You guys can do whatever you want, of course. However, I found that to be the best colour combination and the best look. That's just me, though. So, well, I guess I should probably just show you everything together, as if you guys have just managed to do the blade, the blade kind of requires a little bit of do-it-yourself, really, but there you go. That is what you want to have for your entire lightsaber. It's really hard to get the whole thing in. It really is. Let me... I can get a little bit closer now that the UI's off, but, um... Yeah, this is, this is exactly what you want to have. I think I got pretty close. I think it looks, uh, looks pretty genuine. It's looking pretty good if you ask me. So that is what you want to have for your entire saber. Pause this if necessary, of course, if you want to stay and admire the saber. However, the tutorial has run its course. Hopefully you guys should be staring at your very own. Hopefully this was easy enough to follow. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. And again, if you guys like this, I could probably quite easily make a few other guys' lightsabers. You know, Anakin, who knows? Who knows? Certain Sith Lords. Possibilities are endless. Thanks for watching.